This was the last sign for Christmas season 2021. We uh, had a very successful Christmas season, way more business than we anticipated. Made um, well over a thousand signs, about a thousand orders. Um, some were double packs, some were triple packs. So probably um, I would guess around 1100 individual wooden signs produced since November 1st is when we kind of started tracking the Christmas season. Christmas season started early. This year I think a lot of people, a lot of customers were aware of the supply issues and just COVID in general and all the logistics. So lots of people uh, ordered early. Uh, we are completely depleted what uh, stock levels goes on. You can see here I had a thousand boxes up here now empty. I had over 700 of these um, nine and seven inch pre-cut signs. This was all full. It was over 700 uh, pre-cut. Here's my lumber stack, eight footers, pine, completely gone. Um, the shop took a beating in terms of organizational uh, stuff. New boxes came in, we just put them there. Um, trash boxes. There was no, not even, there was no even time to uh, to break down the boxes. So just to give you an, a sense, we um, a sense of urgency, I guess I should say. We produced over 200 signs per week, every week, and so what that does to the production is that you might be prepared for. 200 plus signs in one week, but then when you go into the next week, you got to make sure that all the supplies are still there, all your stains, all your uh, polyutherane, every little thing. And so it's like every week that you go on, it's like you're running out of poly, you're running out of stain, you're running out of lumber, you're running out of pretty much anything. Then you have the problems to overcome. You have cupping in the wood, you have twists, and I mean, it just goes on and on. So the the hard part would be for the production side, if your shop is set out to make about as 50 to 70 signs, let's say per week, that's about our average, 50 to 70 signs per week, and suddenly you make 240 or you have to make 240, that's a huge scale up. And so, and it's not, like I said, it's not just a once a week, it's week after week after week. And that is the extreme, Difficulty. I find it extremely difficult and so sometimes little tasks like just breaking down boxes, cleaning up trash, I got empty cans everywhere here. Just, it just all, there's my stain station, it just kind of all fell apart. But that's okay, you know, now the, all the orders are gone and now we have time to clean up. Sandpaper, just it went from the drum sander over there. Trash can was full. I mean, what can you do, right? So um, that's the situation. Uh, uh, we're very thankful for all the customers. We have the most amazing customers. We tried our very best to put out the best quality possible at a very short lead time. We had one week lead time. So looks like so far only a few hiccups. We had a uh, hardware forgotten at one sign that we have to send out some sawtooth hangers. We had a mix up one sign went to Canada that should have gone to Texas. We had to remake and resend. So um, out of about a thousand sign looks like so far we have about five shipping and production mishaps. So not too bad, not too bad at all. So I'm gonna sign off for this Christmas. I wish you guys a Merry Christmas. Um, if I don't see you, a uh, Happy New Year. And I will be here back at the channel with more videos and more content hopefully soon. I'm planning on doing some more vlogging 
and uh, some more behind the scenes, just videos and updates. Um, I enjoy making videos and uh, my channel is very small. I don't have many subscribers, so if you do like this kind of content and um, a shop tour or behind the scenes or woodworking in general, please consider, consider subscribing and hit that like, like button. It really helps the channel. Like I said, Merry Christmas and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.